greetings from the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Little Flower in San Antonio, Texas. We thank you for joining us for day five of our Novena of Reflections in honor of St. Joseph, uh, leading up to the celebration of his feast day on March 19th. We are going through uh, the titles given to St. Joseph by Pope Francis in his letter, Patris Corde, with the heart of a father, speaking of the virtues of St. Joseph. Today we consider St. Joseph under the title of St. Joseph as an accepting father. Pope Francis points out in his letter how St. Joseph accepted the Blessed Virgin Mary unconditionally. Uh, when they are betrothed and she is found to be with child uh, by the Holy Spirit. St. Joseph is confused and, uh, and yet we're told that he wanted to protect Mary from the, the law. Well, he wanted to protect her good name, her dignity, and her life, as Pope Francis says. And Pope Francis points out that when things happen in our lives that we don't understand, we often feel disappointed and perhaps rebel. And he writes these words uh, conscious that the world is going through a confusing time uh, with the pandemic that has affected the whole world, this unexpected circumstance in which all people find themselves in. And he points out that, when, again, that when things happen in our lives that we don't understand, we often feel disappointed and perhaps rebel. And perhaps we might become resentful and want to dwell on uh, the, the negative uh, and think, you know, we might think, oh, if only this person had not done that to me, or if only uh, my health were better, or if only I were better off financially, etc., etc. You know, we want to, we, we would want to wish reality away. Whereas Pope Francis says that we are called really to accept reality. And he says this is what St. Joseph did. He confronted the reality before him, uh, whether it was confusing, whether it was unjust, as when the, he had to take Jesus and Mary to Egypt because Herod was seeking to uh, kill the child Jesus. But St. Joseph accepted these circumstances and uh, lived them with faith and courage. Pope Francis writes uh, that St. Joseph set aside his own ideas in order to accept the course of events and mysterious as they seem to embrace them, to take responsibility for them and to make them part of his own history. Unless we are reconciled with our own history, we will be unable to take a single step forward, for we will always remain hostage to our expectations and the disappointments that follow. The spiritual path that Joseph traces for us is not one that explains, but accepts. Only as the result of this acceptance, this reconciliation, can we begin to glimpse a broader history, a deeper meaning? And the acceptance that Pope Francis is speaking about is not just a passive resignation, but he calls this acceptance courageous and firmly proactive. He writes, in our own lives, acceptance and welcome can be an expression of the Holy Spirit's gift of fortitude. Only the Lord can give us the strength needed to accept life as it is, with all its contradictions, frustrations, and disappointments. And finally, Pope Francis writes, Joseph's attitude encourages us to accept and welcome others as they are, without exception, and to show special concern for the weak. For God chooses what is weak, he is the father of orphans and protector of widows, who commands us to love the stranger in our midst. So 
So we can look to St. Joseph as a model, as an encouragement, as a helper, as an intercessor to help us to uh, accept whatever circumstances we encounter in our lives, uh, to embrace them in faith, to entrust them to God, and to respond with trust and with charity and with a special uh, mindfulness towards those also who are experiencing difficult uh, circumstances that, that we may model God's loving providence and protection in their lives. I conclude now with our prayer to St. Joseph from Pope Francis's letter. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. Thank you and God bless you.